Good day, brothers and sisters, and welcome to our study, our reading, chapter 2, The Great Journey from the Chronicles of the Children of Aranach. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we ask that your Spirit be with us as we read the Scripture, Lord, and that you will point out to us things in our mind to help us in our journey of faith with you. We pray for everybody, uh, that everybody will get to know you, Lord. And uh, we pray for peace in our world. And uh, we thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. And I say these things in his name. Amen. Yes, brothers and sisters, we're reading from the Chronicles of the Children of Aranac, uh, which is scripture for the restored branch of Jesus Christ, or the restored branch, which is the Restoration Church. And this was this was given by the Lord to Matthew Gill to translate with the help of uh, Philip Gill and David Roth Smith. So chapter 2, our great, the great journey. As Aranak and Shiblon returned home after many days of walking, they found the people in a state of preparedness, for behold, they had already gathered themselves together with all manner of things, sheep, oxen, camels, donkeys, horses, and many other things, which were prepared with for the sight of this was like a mighty host, and Aranat could not believe what stood before him. Behold, Aranat's heart did soar, for he knew his people had gathered together because the, because the Lord had commanded it. Behold, Shiblon stood forward and commanded that the people should make known their intentions. And Asna, the priest of the temple, stood forward and said, and told Aaron, Aranach that he and all the people gathered had been commanded to do so by a voice within a bright and marvellous cloud of fire and light. Now behold, Aranach heard the voice of the Lord from the heavens and the voice did say to him, Your people are gathered, for I have commanded them that they should be prepared, for they will leave this place and take their journey northwards away from the wicked and destructive people of China. When Aranak had heard these words, he commanded Shiblon to move the people and all their bounds northwards over the mountains. And so, and so it was that the people of Aranak were walking for the space of many days, full of in the cloud of light, during the time their Lord appeared unto them as if in a cloud of light. When Aranak saw the cloud, he approached it, and stretched forth his hand so that he could touch the cloud. As he did, he saw a, la a hand appear from the cloud, and in it the hand were appeared to be a, sol a round, solid brass object. Oh. Upon the ball, Aranak saw that there were written many things that would help his people to cross the desert waste and the mountain heights. Aranak went to remove the bull, but was forbidden to do so. Upon this, the bull opened, and inside the bull was another solid brass bull, with writing upon it. As Aranak looked at the writing, he saw that the writing described stars in the heavens, and the seas, on the oceans, and the names by which the sea and ocean should be called, and where to find them. Aranat looked at the bull, 
he heard a voice from the cloud which made him tremble. For he had never heard the Lord of the Most High speak with such power and authority. These are the words which Aranach heard. Because of your faithfulness of thy people, I, the Lord God, will give you, Aranach, my prophet, this wonderful gift. Upon this gift are written commandments and instructions that your people should follow. If your people will follow the instructions upon the ball, I, the Lord and Saviour of the world, will lead you and your people to a safe and beautiful land. Upon this land, you and your people will find many wonderful and marvellous things, for it is a land that I, the Lord, have chosen for my people to inherit. Because Aranach, I will not be mocked as soon as the people forget the ways of thy prophets and of me. I will curse them to be destroyed for all time. Behold the commandment I give to you that you are to mark your way unto the land for there will be others that I will command to come unto this land and they will be able to follow and find this pleasant and blessed land from the markers you shall leave. I will now show unto you, Aranach, the form that these signs must take. They are this. The Lord showed unto Aranach the mighty stone circles and monuments must be placed in all the lands they travel through. When Aranach saw the great stone monuments that must be built, he marvelled at how his people would accomplish the things that the Lord had asked them, and by what means they were to be built. The Lord said unto Aranach, I, the Lord, will provide angels to help you and your people and do all the things that are necessary for these markers to be built. For many more people will follow these markers. Behold, will stand. they will stand as a testament to your journey and a sign that I, the Lord, am great, and I will bless all that do the following, follow my commandments. After hearing the words of the Lord, Aranat told his people all the things the Lord had told him, and they did sing out with one voice, Hosanna, Hosanna, to the Mohai's God. Many years passed, and the children of Naranat did take their journey north. Now their hearts were filled of the love of God, and although they journey was a hard and testing journey, they remember the promise which the Lord had given them, that if they were to build the stone markers, that the Lord would guide their journey. The people of light journeyed with a full heart and spirit. Many years passed, and their hearts were full at first, but as the years passed, they began to be sorrowful, for their lives were hard, and the wilderness began to take its toll on their spirits, and they begin to murmur, complain, and begin to neglect the building of the stone markers that the Lord had com commanded them to build. Behold, they took it upon themselves that with their heart's desire, an arrow at being very old, went unto the people and began to call them to repentance, saying, O oh my people, how quickly you have forgotten the words of your Lord and Saviour. 
For he promised us that if we were faithful and obedient, he would guide our journey and mark it light that your burdens may be carried by him. But you have forgotten, and now, my people, you wonder at your hardship. Repent, repent, and kneel before your God. If not, you will be destroyed. So that's the end of chapter two, and uh, it's, they were on their journey. The, God spoke to them before Aranak and Shiblon got back um, that they should pack and prepare for a journey. So they got all their sheep herds together, and when Aranak returned, they were ready to go. So God spoke to those people there, as he does to us. He spoke through a cloud, and uh, I think I've read about a cloud being at the temple, where the temple was, and a cloud speaking to, to the people. So God used the cloud, and Aranak went up and stretched his hand to touch the cloud, and another hat came out and gave him a globe. I think the people going to the Book of Mormon lambs got a brass globe as well to guide them. And like people do, they they full of God, and uh, sometimes they just murmur and and. Uh, Forget about God, but Aranat wanted the people to remember. So we wait upon uh, what happens next to the people, and just remember to keep that, keep following God, and He will protect you, especially in these times we're living in today, as there's wars. Well. The book of Revelation seems to be coming through the things that happened to that. Let us finish off with a prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day that we can come and read your scriptures. And we ask that your spirit be with us for the rest of the week. And I say these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shalom, brothers and sisters.